for joining me you know first I want to start off by saying this coming Saturday April 2nd is autism awareness day so if you want to show your support you can wear some blue that's what it's for and anything you want to post on social media you can use the hashtag light it up blue L I U B light it up blue and you know show that you support autism awareness my cousin actually has autism so it hits home a little bit so if you want to uh, show your support, do your thing. Use the hashtag, wear a little blue, post on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you're doing. So I just wanted to start off the show with that. Something a little bit different, but show my, my love to the people that have, or people that love the people that have autism. So let's jump into MMA. I feel a little... Like, I don't know, I just feel like there hasn't been a lot going on until today. But first, before we jump into that news that everyone's, I guess, some people are excited, some people aren't, let's talk about good old Johnny Bones Jones. What is this guy doing? I know a lot of people say, hey, whatever he does outside of the cage shouldn't concern us, but man, if he keeps effing up, it's going to affect things that go into the cage, like getting your belt stripped and not being able to make fights and blah, 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 blah. Man, I don't know if he needs to surround himself with new people. I mean, obviously, all this counseling and hoo-ha, in my opinion, it was a facade. And I actually posted something on Twitter asking people about that. And a lot of people felt that he didn't learn his lesson. This was quite a while ago, months ago, after they had reinstated him back into the UFC so we can start fighting again and then eventually they announced the UFC fight against Cormier to go back for that 205 strap I, I don't know I don't know what to say the video that's out now with him getting pulled over and the cop has the chest cam on and the things that John Jones says it's and not only that but he made hey, hey, officer is that camera on okay perfect now let me make sure I can say all this stuff like the f-bomb and this and that it was I don't know I just don't get it. I don't get it. Any case, Johnny, get your head on straight, bro. We want to see you in the cage. I think he is a phenomenal fighter. Could go down at one of the all-time best. But he's going to have this asterisk of tarnishment or, or whatever you want to put. And this is just my opinion. So if you don't like it, you know where you can put it at. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called an opinion. So in any case, moving on to... The big news, the big news, UFC 200. We already know that Kane was going to fight on that. They talked about that weeks ago, but UFC Brass has released main and co-main, and they're both rematches. One makes perfect sense, Conor McGregor against Nate Diaz, because they're coming off a huge pay-per-view. Arguably one of the biggest in UFC history, maybe the biggest in UFC history. I don't know what the exact numbers were, but I know it was right in that realm. So why not strike while the iron's hot, right? As they say. I don't know who they are, but someone says it. And the co-main event, Frankie Edgar versus Jose Aldo to the rematch. These are both great fights. I mean, the first time Frankie and Aldo fought... Went to a decision. I can't say it was a close fight. I can't say it was a dominating performance from Aldo. But, you know, maybe this time's going to be different. Who knows? Maybe that mystique that was surrounding Aldo of being this unstoppable fighter for damn near a decade has now been removed. So, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm not sure where the odds makers are going to have the line. But we'll have to find out. As far as Nate Diaz against Conor McGregor, the second 
episode, if you would. Uh, you know, I really would rather have seen this at 155. Supposedly, I just read this within like 30 minutes ago. It's Wednesday night, by the way. That uh, Lorenzo and Dana and Coach Kavanaugh all try to talk Connor out of this rematch. I don't know if it's specifically because the weight, because they're going to fight at 170 again, or if they wanted to maybe def defend the title. So we'll have to talk more about this as we get closer. I mean, we're months away. The fight's not till July in Las Vegas, UFC 200. But it was an important enough announcement that I wanted to definitely talk about it. And we'll see where the odds are on that as well. I think if I read correctly yesterday, even though the fight wasn't officially announced, that Connor was coming in as a favorite. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So we will see what happens on that. Uh, next, for this coming weekend, we do have some fights finally. You know, it's kind of... We did have we did have fights last week as well, but you know if it isn't the big machine or or a big Bellator event, to me sometimes it feels a little emptiness. I don't know. That's just me. I mean, I love fights. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like marketing is a big part of it. And with the smaller promotions, they just don't have the dollars to market it like the big machine, aka the UFC. So it's hard to get hyped up for the fights, but. They do have two fights this weekend on Friday night. You got Victory FC 49 out of, you guessed it, Peyton Manning's favorite place, Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. I had to do it. So that's Friday night, and that'll be exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. They like to host a lot of these smaller promotions, up-and-coming promotions, so they can steal people from them and put them on their own roster later. Just saying. And then Saturday night, actually, a... a a decent card. A decent card. World Series of Fighting 30 in Sin City itself at the Hard Rock Cafe and Casino or Casino Hotel, actually. And that will be David Branch defending the title against Clifford Starks for the middleweight because David Branch holds two belts, light heavyweight and middleweight. And then John Finch will be fighting Zeferino for the vacant welterweight title originally that was going to be john fitch against jake shields and then something happened on that that didn't pan out so now john's fighting zeferino that happened saturday free as always on nbcsn which is nbc sports network look at your local cable and satellite providers to find out so this is a short but sweet i just wanted to get a quick show in bang it out do it up I do, I do want to say something before I get out of here, though. I want to give a shout-out to a couple folks, and that is Unique Kennels. Been with me pretty much since day one. Thank you for all the love and support. I appreciate it. And Mama's Boy Apparel, John, my Canadian brother, thank you. Design Effects, thank you so much for being there. And just a shout-out to Flying Brian. That's my, that's my brother at arms right there. He's doing great on YouTube. Check him out if you haven't watched him yet. Flying Brian show on YouTube. So, in any case, you know what though? Boom, boom. Subscribe, buddy. You know where at? At MMA Made Show on all your typical social media Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And you know where on YouTube? Forward slash Morba Manor. All right, short and sweet. I'm out. Have a great week. Watch some fights. I'll be back next week. Peace out. See ya.